1948 Olympic Games marked the beginning of a new world for Olympians. The war had ended just three years before. London had been scheduled to host the Games in 1944, but war had put those plans on hold. Billed as the Austerity Games and was successful in drawing in more than 4,000 athletes from 59 nations competing in 19 sports disciplines. David Woodfull was a professional photographer that Hogan Lovells works with on an ongoing basis. We're proud to host his exhibition. Here he talks in his own words about the athletes and the photos he's taken. Well, I've always been interested in memory and the passing of time. That's something that's gone through all my work. And I watched the Beijing Olympics and I was going to do something in relation to that. Then I found out obviously 1948 was the last time that we had the Olympics and I started to look into it. I started to do some research, got in contact with the Olympian magazine who gave me a lot of contacts. And I started with Tommy Godwin who was the, the pursuit cyclist who was the first person I photographed and spoke to. And it started from then really my interest in them as people and what they had to say and the differences between 1948 and now. We had chats about that time. One or two wanted to talk about the differences between 1948 and now and how it was more of an amateur sporting thing in 1948 around that time as opposed to now where it feels very corporate and different the opportunities that the athletes have now that they didn't have then because of the war. For me I, I wanted to know a bit more about the memories, what their memories were but one or two couldn't remember quite rightly because they're quite old and it's quite a long time ago but that sense of pride of being Olympians that's definitely something they carry with them. It's one or two, it's almost been a full-time occupation being an Olympian, sort of giving talks, going into schools and especially now with it being in London.